Welcome back to another exciting roundup of open source innovation. Today we're exploring top trending and open source GitHub projects. This week, part two, where you'll discover powerful tools shaping AI, development, data, and content workflows. From agentic coding systems to secure sandboxes and smart research tools, this video helps you quickly spot projects worth starring and trying. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Deep Code, Open Agentic Coding for Automated Development. Let's dive into the world of Deep Code, an open source AI platform that feels like a team of smart helpers turning ideas directly into working software. Deep Code is built as a multi-agent coding system that can take research papers, specifications, or plain English prompts and generate entire code bases from back-end logic to front-end interfaces, automating many of the tedious steps developers normally do by hand. It matters right now because it dramatically simplifies workflows, speeds up prototype creation, and can bridge the gap between concept and implementation with fewer errors than many simple code assistants. DeepCode's architecture orchestrates specialized agents that analyze documents, plan structure, generate code, and even build tests, wiring them into functional applications using tools like a command line interface and a web UI that you can run locally or integrate into existing setups. This approach uses a modular engine that's extensible and designed for developers and researchers who want control, reproducibility, and productivity without repetitive work. With ongoing active development and integrations for major LLM APIs, DeepCode is pushing toward making full-stack generation easier for creators. Try it today, and watch your development workflow transform instantly. Project number two, AI Hedge Fund. AI-powered trading simulator with multiple agents. Here's something that feels like the future of automated finance. AI Hedge Fund is an open source proof of concept for an AI-powered hedge fund, built to explore how AI agents could work together to make market decisions. The project isn't meant for real trading or investment, but serves as a playground where multiple themed agents inspired by legendary investors like Buffett, Graham, and others collaborate to analyze stocks, sentiment, fundamentals, technicals, and risk to generate buy-sell signals. It's built primarily in Python and TypeScript with a web app and command line interface to install, run, and visualize results locally. The system lets you plug in LLM APIs, e.g., OpenAI or DeepSeek, and financial data services, so the agents can ingest data and reason about equities, and it supports backtesting to see how decisions would have played out over time. This matters right now because it lets developers and researchers experiment with AI-driven decision workflows, blending automation with human strategies in a transparent way. While it doesn't execute real trades and comes with clear disclaimers, it's a rich sandbox for thinking about the intersection of AI and finance. Try it and see how AI can change the way we model markets. Project number three, Daytona. Secure AI code sandboxes and runtime. Here's something that feels like the future of AI development infrastructure. Daytona is an open-source platform that gives developers a secure, elastic way to run AI-generated code and agent workflows in isolated sandboxes without risking their own systems. Built as a runtime and infrastructure layer rather than a simple library, Daytona launches sandboxes in lightning-fast time, under 90 millis, and keeps them fully isolated so generated code can execute safely away from your local machine. It supports both Python and TypeScript SDKs, and you can programmatically control workspace creation, file operations, process execution, and more, making it ideal for anyone building AI agents that need to test, run, or explore code dynamically. The platform uses standard OCI Docker compatibility, so you can bring your own container environments, and it's designed for parallel workflows and persistent sandboxes that outlive single sessions. This matters right now, as AI agents and autonomous systems increasingly need safe execution environments that protect data, infrastructure, and developer productivity, especially in complex workflows. Daytona is built for developers and AI researchers who want productivity with safety and control. Try it today and see how smoothly your AI code runs in secure sandboxes. Project number four, Markdown Sync Site, live markdown blog platform. Let's dive into a project that turns simple writing into a live, interactive website without the usual rebuild hassle. Markdown Sync Site is an open source minimalist content platform built with React, Vite, and Convex that lets you write blog posts in Markdown and see them live instantly on your site. 
Instead of waiting for a traditional static build and deploy, this project uses convex real-time syncing, so all connected browsers update automatically when content changes, keeping your site always in sync and super responsive. It matters right now because it blends fast development feedback, SEO readiness, and real-time updates, so creators can focus on content, not infrastructure. The site includes features like syntax highlighting, multiple themes, auto-generated RSS feeds and sitemaps, and structured data for search and AI discovery, making content easier to find for both humans and bots. Developers, writers, and bloggers get an immediate visual feedback on edits, real-time analytics, and a workflow where a simple NPM run sync pushes updates live, with React and TypeScript powering a smooth UI and modern developer experience, Markdown Sync Site makes publishing seamless. Try it once and feel how smooth your content workflow becomes. Project number five, C and Trek, training free spatial prompting for vision models. Here's something that feels like the future of multimodal AI. C and Trek is an open source framework that boosts the spatial reasoning skills of multimodal large language models MLLMs without any training or GPU requirements. At its heart, this project introduces a training-free and GPU-free spatial prompting system that helps vision and language models better understand the structure and motion within visual scenes by selecting semantic-rich keyframes and reconstructing visual motion cues using tools such as visual odometry. Instead of modifying the core model, C and Trek injects structured spatial and temporal priors into models during a single forward pass, making it lightweight and plug-and-play for both open-source and commercial MLMs. This matters right now because spatial awareness is a major challenge in video and vision tasks, and C and Trek offers a practical way to improve performance on benchmarks that test object relationships, motion, and layout understanding. The codebase is written primarily in Python with supporting scripts for dataset processing, and its readme highlights how to extract prior semantics and run evaluations using existing models and benchmarks. It's built for AI researchers and developers who want stronger spatial reasoning with minimal complexity. Try it once and feel how your vision AI tasks gain depth and clarity. Project number six, Acekelet, lightweight terminal UI for SQL databases. Here's something that feels like the right tool when you just want to interact with your databases without heavy GUI eyes. Acekelet is an open source Python-based terminal user interface that lets you connect to and query many SQL databases from the command line with ease. It's built like a TUI version of LazyGit, but for SQL, so if you've ever wished your SQL workflow could be faster and smoother inside your terminal, this project delivers that experience. Acekelet supports a wide range of databases. SQL Server, Postgres, MySQL, SQL, MariaDB, Oracle, DuckDB, CockroachDB, Supabase, Terso, and handles connections, query history, auto-completion, themes, and SSH tunnels right inside the terminal. The interface supports intuitive keyboard navigation and modal editing, so developers and database professionals can browse tables, run queries, and manage connections without leaving the keyboard. It auto-installs missing Python adapters when needed, and stores configurations locally, making setup straightforward. With an active history of commits and releases, and a focus on simplicity and speed, this tool matters for anyone who wants to simplify their database workflow and avoid memory-heavy GUI tools. Try it once and feel how it accelerates your database work. Project number 7. LLM. Walk. Explore answer space of open LLMs. Let's dive into a tool that feels like a microscope for large language models and gives you a new way to understand how they think. LLM Walk is an open source Python CLI utility that helps you explore the answer space of open large language models by systematically walking through likely generations rather than just sampling one output. Instead of the usual single token by token sampling, it branches out possible continuations based on settings like top K, top P, and temperature and walks the tree of possibilities to find and rank the most probable answers, stopping once it finds a set number of complete branches. This matters right now because it gives developers, researchers, and curious creators a clearer view of multiple high-probability model responses, useful for debugging, evaluation, or insight into model behavior without firing up complex GUIs or dashboards. LLM Walk works with MLX-supported models, letting you specify the model you want to analyze and instantly see variations on outputs for any prompt you choose. It's lightweight, command-line-driven, and designed for people who want better interpretability and control over open LLM outputs. Give it a try and see how easily it reveals the shape of LLM answer spaces. Project number 8, Tom CP. 
Turn websites into MCP servers for AI tools. Here's something that feels like a bridge between the web and smarter AI workflows. TomCP is an open source project that lets you instantly convert any public website or documentation page into a model context protocol MCP server that AI assistants can read directly, giving them clean, structured context instead of raw HTML noise. Instead of users copying and pasting content or relying on slow fetch tools that dump messy markup, TomCP runs pages through a readability parser to produce clear markdown down and serves it as an MCP resource that stays pinned and permanently available to the model, which helps reduce hallucinations and token waste. This matters right now because many AI tools and coding assistants struggle to use documentation effectively without a clean context source, and TomCP makes that context instantly usable for developers and creators working with AI workflows. The tool works by simply prepending to any URL or using its web UI, then generating a config you can add to tools like Cursor, Claude Desktop, VS Code, and others. It's built with Cloudflare workers, HTML-slash-JS frontend, and TypeScript, and supports direct chatting with page content through a simple interface. Explore it once and feel how it brings web knowledge into your AI workflows with clarity. Project number 9, 10. Ask SEC filings with AI. Here's something that feels like a smarter way to read financial disclosures without flipping through hundreds of dense pages. 10 is an open source Python tool that helps investors, analysts, and researchers chat with SEC filings such as 10K and 10Q reports using AI instead of manual reading and copy paste. It matters right now because long regulatory filings are tough to digest by hand, and Tank automates the whole process. It fetches filings from SEC Edgar, builds a local vector database with semantic search, and lets you ask plain English questions to get answers with direct citations and links back to the original text, saving hours of work. Beyond simple Q&A, it adds value by pulling stock data, web search, and Excel generation, and lets you export answers to PDF, DOCX, or spreadsheet reports for your research or presentations. Built primarily in Python with a CLI, Tank runs locally once you install it, and set an OpenAI API key, returning insights quickly and reliably. It's designed for finance professionals, value investors, and curious researchers who want speed, accuracy, and context-rich insights into company disclosures that used to take hours to compile. Try it once and see how fast AI makes sense of complex financial documents. Project number 10, Universal Reddit Scraper Suite, full-featured Reddit data extraction tool. Let's dive into a tool that feels like a Swiss army knife for Reddit data and gives developers deep control without needing heavy GUIs or paid services. Universal Reddit Scraper Suite is an open source Python based project that scrapes posts, comments, media, and user activity from any subreddit or user profile and lets you analyze and export that data in structured formats like CSV and Parquet for deeper work. It includes a REST API, a streamlit dashboard for exploring scrape data with charts and sentiment views, and a scheduler for automated recurring scrapes, making it useful for researchers, analysts, and builders who want searchable Reddit histories without manual copying. The suite supports plugin-based post-processing such as sentiment tagging, keyword extraction, and deduplication, and exports to analytics tools like DuckDB or Grafana via its REST API, giving real-world workflows for trend analysis or community research. It runs locally or in containers, and because it doesn't require Reddit API keys, it lowers friction for setup, while providing robust features for data pipelines and research dashboards. Built for developers, data scientists, and community researchers, this tool turns scattered Reddit content into structured insights. Try it and see how quickly it powers your Reddit research workflows. Thanks for watching and exploring these projects with me. If you found this useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future drops. Let me know in the comments which repo impressed you most, and don't forget to star the projects and try the demos linked below. Share your suggestions for next video as well.